Hey there, I'm Hoon, and today I'll walk you through our team's map editing process step by step. So let's dive in. First off, we start by deciding whether to create a new map or just an existing one. If it's a new one, we refer to the game's lore book uh, for key story elements and landmarks that we really want to show to the players. Uh, we then sketch out a visual concept that brings those elements to life and divide the map into different zones so we always capture the player's interest. But when it comes to map updates, we want to look into the player's perspective and think what are the main elements we want to change. These can be adjusting the item location or NPC spawn points. So we always consider how this change might impact the player's strategy and approach when they're playing our game. Unity's 2D tile map editor is cool, but it's not really portable outside of its own ecosystem. You know, it makes collaboration quite challenging in some cases, and that's why we love to use the tiled map editor. It's a cross-platform uh, map editor uh, that can be used for different engines with different assets. It's really simple to use and yet still powerful and flexible. In our game, the tile map surface reacts to the player's footsteps. To maintain a streamlined design process, we use Tiled's custom properties feature for terrain layers and wang tiles, so we can just brush in these unique tiles. Uh, but how do we import this into Unity? Enter Super Unity to Tiled, a plugin that lets you read Tiled maps directly as an external asset within the engine. By combining these tools, our artists and developers can work together seamlessly. Of course, maintaining this pipeline is a challenge, but you know that's a story for another day. So here you have it, quick rundown of how we handle map editing within our game studio for our game, which one? Follow us for more game dev tips and to check out on our progress.